and comes back in, and there is a nail sticking, <laughs> sticking out of the back of his head, and it's like deep in the back Jesus. of his head. Yeah, didn't he die? Yeah, yeah I killed. Him. Okay. <laughs> You know, I just needed a, I needed a refresher yeah. to remember. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> ah, the orgy server, of course. <laughs> yes, the orgy server. That's crazy. There's drama in the le like the Lego Battles Reddit. I guess. <laughs> we used to play like I, three people on a Chromebook, which you have to understand yes. that is the most cramped keyboard. We had three fans. <laughs> You're like shut down. It's like all right, shutting down. Right, like no, no. Beware of the well. Sometimes you can still hear them at night whispering, Arigato. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gone Podcast, episode 38. Yeah, 38. Um, the boys are back uh, after a bit of a missing period from Nick there. Uh, I'm your co host, Nick Gretzfan, here with my co host. Yeah, but Peter here. And Is that what I usually say? Yes. I continue. <laughs> still, yeah, you still say that. The second time you've asked me. Is that what I say? Yes. I okay. remember, like, once or twice, I, like, said the wrong one. Yeah. And I was like, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. What did I say? <laughs> yeah, you, you, have, you, know, you said the wrong one before. You know, I think it's time for a rebranding period, you know? See, I, I gotta rebrand. I, I have too many brands right now. I'm too, I'm too diversified. Right, you know, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, painter, you know, original jellyfish, mm -hmm. sometimes original jellyfish because they don't like the extra letter, you know? Like, I, I just gotta... Maybe, maybe I'm gonna start going by my new my new tag. That's just gonna be my default. Should I start going by Varctic? I wonder. Anyway. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Tagam Podcast. And that was my rant. Right, now that the identity crisis is over. Um, <laughs> my existential online identity crisis. So before you get into whatever you wanted to talk about, which is probably lame as hell. Um, wow, dude. I can't believe the treatment I'm receiving. Let's talk a little bit about our favorite game series, on, Call of on Duty. On my podcast? Our favorite game series, Call of Duty. Oh my goodness. Call of Duty came out. Love, love the Call of Duty. Seventy dollar price tag. That's the word I'm looking for. Love, love that duty. Uh, it's a, it's. I mean, I think everyone likes. I think the gameplay. From what I've heard, the gameplay is Call of Duty. Some people like it. Um, and the story, people say it's fine. The cutscenes are. <laughs> it's fine. The cutscenes are like wildly cool like wildly real not cool they're wildly like real looking so, like, okay that's cool yeah well the game itself looks uh, it looks really good but that's also yeah that's also when you're at you know probably ultra graphics you know extra wide monitor whatever but <laughs> um aside from that like people have been complaining that the ui is messy um hard to do anything in it that the level oh, up like the gun level up system is kind of cringe because you're like well i want to use this gun okay well i'm gonna use oh wait that's locked okay well i need to use this gun first and level it up to this level before i can use oh wait that gun's also locked so the funny thing is literally ju just last night i um was, was like on oh no i was on call with like three people and like the person who had just joined call was like god this game is so Fucking trash! Why do we even play this game? Like, I want to use this gun. Fuck this game! I'm gonna stop playing. Plays for another two hours. Like, yeah. and I'm like, bro, <laughs> it was really fun because he was talking mad shit, despite me full well knowing that this is like the only game he fucking plays. Yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> I don't, I don't get the appeal of Call it. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't. But it, it's it's Call of Duty, bro. It's Call of Duty! That's not- What you mean? That's, it's, it's- It's Call of Duty, bro! Okay. Gotta get that Call of Duty life grind! Okay. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, I'm glad I could help you. So, and there was another thing about the release that people weren't really happy about. People that bought, like, the deluxe editions or whatever, 
one of the additions you were supposed to get a bunch of double EXP tokens. Makes you mm-hmm. level up faster. Yeah. And, um... Pay to win, of course. Yeah, so these people bought that and then were like, hey, why don't I have my double XP tokens? And when they, like, looked it up, they found out that you had, if you wanted the double XP tokens, you had to order it from the other games in-game store. So, like, Vanguard, Call of Modern Warfare <laughs> Turn, you had to order from there to get the L. XP token, which is so funny. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we were giving them out, but you had to order from a very exclusive place that we weren't going to tell you about. So, nice try. So That's funny. Yeah. People, it's, That's okay. funny. it's mixed on Steam right now with like 30,000 reviews or something. It's wild. <laughs> so, oh, last thing. And it made like, it's like the most top grossing Call of Duty game ever. It made like $800 million in three days. So... I hate the world we live in. There's no way. Yeah, Activision's just going to keep making them. Which, honestly, I have more of a problem with Activision than I do Call of Duty. So, you know. Like, that's ridiculous. It should not be worth that much. Yeah. Well, it is. So, I wonder how much Fortnite's worth. I'm not going to... I'm going to look it up. Uh, Nick, talk about something you were going to talk about. Don't, 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 don't make me depressed with Fortnite. Nick, talk about something um, you were going to talk about. <laughs> Um, so, I have been getting into, um, the, the, one of the two Amazon RPG games, and no, it is not the one we played. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, okay. I'm not getting back into Lost Ark. <laughs> uh, I have been getting into New World, because uh, now I have wins to play it with. Um. Wins or friends? Wins! I got wins, Jacob! I got wins. I heard wind. wind. You have wind to play with. Yes, I have wind. Must must be the wind. Yeah. <laughs> um. But that game, I'm lo- like like I really like the void gauntlets because it's so stupid. <laughs> like, like like void gauntlets, right? You you put on these little things and you start like punching, right? And you shoot out little purple void energy. Uh, and you start healing if it's a heavy attack. Uh, they're far away. They don't recognize you're there yet. So they're just, like, running on over from their super far distance. And you're just, like, punching away, you know. Then suddenly you use your, like, giant orb, which Mm -hmm. essentially inflicts poison upon them. Because their health starts, like, decaying faster. Um, and it heals you when it comes back, mind you. Uh, so they're dying even faster. Oh, look, they're closer now? Let's use my other ability, where I weaken them, so that they can't do as much damage, and I have defense for when they get here. Then they get there, and then you use your closer up ability, uh, and you just, like, completely pummel them to death and heal from every attack you deal. It's it's pretty stellar. (laughs) Like, I'm out here bullying things, like, five levels to ten levels higher than me. Uh-huh. And I don't know how I'm doing that, but I'm so happy that I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm the little mage that could. <laughs> the little mage that could. And here's the thing. It, like, there are two paths for every weapon. Like, you know, it's like, you level up your weapon mastery or whatever, and it gives you skill points uh, that you can put into each of these paths. I wish the paths were a little more expansive, if I'm honest, but I'm having fun with it for now, you know. Um, but there are two paths. I chose the the decay path or whatever. I could have chosen the like annihilation path, where instead of a little orb that starts decaying them to death, I get a sword. You know, I I cover my gauntlet in black energy, void energy, and I just start stabbing like people. You know, like. I can just go up and start stabbing. Like, mm-hmm. and it always has lifesteal. Like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> Imagine if I, a mage, who uses projectile magic, came up to you and summoned a, a, a motherfucking sword and just stabbed you through the chest. What'd you do? Like, I was like, oh. I think I huh. die. Yeah, guess I die now. Oh, and that sword also decays. Like the orb does. It's just now a melee attack. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder... Ooh. I th- so, I actually haven't tried out the sword. 
I wonder if I can block with that little, like, magic sword that I summon. Because, I mean, it's a melee weapon, kind of. It does melee damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so curious now. Anyway, right. I'm loving Void Gauntlets. That game is really fun. <laughs> so, uh, is, uh, is New World third person? Yeah, or, yes, okay. yes. Uh, yeah. I always thought it was, like, first person. But I guess oh, no, that would... it's third person. Yeah, that would be hell. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. with how that game plays, that would be way too hard for me, personally. Well, maybe you should um... get better at it. <laughs> You're so right. I can't believe I thought anything else. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Idiot. I'm, I'm so stupid, bro. I'm so yeah. stupid. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> idiot. Anyway, idiot, stupid, moron. Um, what are you, stupid? Anyway, um, so, uh, hey, guess what? Um, there is one problem with that game, though. Yeah. Uh, lack of mounts. <laughs> oh, there, yeah. there, there's a fast travel function, but I didn't realize this until last night when my friend tried to use it. Um, there is a redonkulous timer. <laughs> It's a, like, you use fast travel if you're in the wilderness, right? Uh -huh. uh, and you go to any of the fast travel points for free. After that, it's like a 10 to 15 minute timer before you can fast travel again. Unless Yikes. you're inside of a town already. You have to be in a town to fast travel for free. Yikes. Uh, yep. Yep. So, I was like, huh, that's kind of crazy. Because whenever I looked, it said five second cooldown. And I was like, oh, it must be because I just got out of a battle or something. Nope. My friend's was at, like, nine minutes. And he's like, huh, I wanted to get off, but I can't teleport back to town right now. What do I do? <laughs> I was like, dang, yeah, I guess you just wait. Good luck with that one, Chief. Um, so, I think there's a serious need for mounts, because running across that world is so slow. Okay, like, I'll, get, I'll get Jeffy on the phone, I'll get Jeffy on the phone, and I'll make a Yeah, we, we, we need to call some people. Be like, hey guys, Lost Ark, total banger, right? New mm -hmm. World, it also needs mounts. Guys, guys, <laughs> guys, guys, your game, absolutely, abs your game absolutely slaps, especially that one game, uh, Lost, Lost Ark, that, that game slaps. But hey Jeff, can you uh, do something for me? Go ahead and add some mounts to uh, Lost. Lo well, what was it called again? New World. New World. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lost World. I know Easy. you probably don't know what it's called either, Jeff. It's okay, man. Just, you gotta add mounts, <laughs> please. Thank you. Hey, you, gotta, you gotta add all of the mounts you can. Honestly. Yeah, dragons, oh, horses, God. motorcycles. I don't care. You just gotta get something in there. Come on, Jeff. Yeah. Like. If it because if it does have those or if they ever add them, it'll make it such such a great experience. Because right now it is kind of painful walking across the world, running at your because all right you the dodge button right it, it, it's a cool dodge. Um, awesome. If you're wearing light armor, um, but you can only do it two times before you run out of stamina, and you can't increase your stamina or decrease the amount of stamina it uses. Let's so. Uh, go. You kind of only get two dodge rolls with light armor. Okay, mind you. With, uh, with, um, medium armor, it's a little less of a dodge roll and more of a just, uh, I'm kind of, I'm going to just, like, jump to, jump forward or left or right. Mm -hmm. Um, you want, you want to guess what it looks like with heavy armor? <laughs> you fall over. Um, you kind of just duck your head and, like, your back down a little, and, like, you, like, do, like, a little shuffle walk for a second. That's awesome. Um, so you, you know, but when you're done doing that, you're even slower. Like, like you have, like, a cool down before you start walking at normal speed again. So if you did that hoping to go faster, oh, you made the wrong choice, buddy. <laughs> like, you, like, you, you've stacked another three seconds on your journey. Every time you accidentally click that button to dodge roll, thinking that that's going to be the run button. <laughs> what, if, what if that's Jeff trying to get the people to stop being obese, you know? That's Jeff's way of saying, like, don't be... You're so right. 
Dude, okay. it is wrong to be heavy set. All right, it is wrong. Mm-hmm. So you should be medium. And I'm not saying or, that. Or light. Jeff is saying that. So Jeff is saying that it is yeah. wrong to be not a us. fat person. Not us. It is wrong, it's Jeff. and you should feel bad. Is what yeah. Jeff says. That's what Jeff says. I didn't say it. I Jeff believe, said it. I can't believe Jeff would say that to the people. Jeff, and you, you know, oh God. Jeff's got some problems, you know. But he does. Jeff has so many problems. And make he's them. in therapy, you know, we, yeah. we have him in therapy, he's talking to someone. We had, we had an intervention a few days ago, you know, about his fat yeah. phobia. Um, but then... See, it, it was getting a little extreme, you know. How, how mad can you be when he makes Lost Ark, you know? You know what I'm oh saying? Oh my god, like, of course. Like, even I, I'm not mad at him anymore. I mean, you know, he just published he, it, but whatever. He, there's so reason for Lost Ark. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No one else did it, just him. No one else. <laughs> no one else could have done it. I think it was just Jeffy. Yeah. Yes. Just exactly. Jeffy. Exactly. Just Jeffy. <laughs> nah, it's not just Monica. It's just Jeffy. Just Jeffy. <laughs> I like that, Jacob. We we need to we need to we need to add Jeffy, Jeffy to our game whenever that happens in a billion years. Oh. Je- Jeffy's gonna be in there. <laughs> Yo, Jeffy. Jeffy, bro! Long time no see! I definitely know you. Yeah, we should definitely know yeah, him. Yeah. You just get a static you. image for someone named Jeff, and it's like, it's Jeffy now. It's Jeffy. Oh, I'm yawning. Oh, my God. Yeah. Are you uh, saying you were tired during the podcast? How could that be? I don't know, man. I'm, w- I'm wilding out here. You wildin', bro! Uh, you... Why then? I was I said guess what earlier and I forgot why I said that. Um, um I'll say guess what again though. I could actually have something this time. Guess what? Um what? Uh there is po- there is a possibility that dream No is it okay. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, There's a possibility that Dream is a pedophile. Um, and that's not a possibility, remember. that's a like, confirmed. <laughs> like, I, is it? Well, well, I mean, okay. the stuff's to come out, but she, like... To me, that's confirmed. Less, like, it's Dream. Yeah. Would we expect anything less? Yeah. You know, one of the most toxic internet people at the moment. Turns out to be a pedophile. Yeah, that He's tracks. He's a Minecraft YouTuber, so I mean, like, the stars are you know? Yeah, he is a Minecraft YouTuber. Like, it's a, it's sad to say, but, like, you know, a pattern's a pattern. <laughs> Why like, a Minecraft YouTuber always a pedophile? Exactly. Like, Jane Bob, Dream Now, freaking Skyder's Minecraft. Had some su- sus stuff going on for a while there. Yeah. Um, oh my god, who, who else? <laughs> like, I know there were more, but... Yeah, there are other ones. I don't remember. Like, what is it with these Minecraft YouTubers being toxic as heck? It, it's it's a cube game. Why are you being toxic for? I don't. I this is why Sky does Minecraft. No, Sky does Minecraft. No, he's that's why he beat his wife. Yeah, he's the, one of the most toxic. Um, Captain <laughs> Sparkles. Yeah, he beat his wife. <laughs> yep. Um, Captain Sparkles. He's one of the only. The only one left. The ones that I haven't heard any like crazy shit about, and he's one of the only ones. Yeah, he's the only one that I actually liked. Like, I, I mean, I watched all of them just because, like, yeah, Minecraft, and I'm a kid. I don't got no, no sh- nothing to do. Um, but Captain Sparkles always top of the board for me. Sparkles, what's he doing? I don't watch any of the videos anymore because I don't have time for YouTube like that. But like, you know, Captain Sparkles, bro. <laughs> uh, blah 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 blah. Tuck. I miss being in high, uh, like middle school because of... I had a lot more time for things. But it's just because I literally had no friends. <laughs> mm-hmm. But like, still, I could binge watch like someone's YouTube channel and be like, "Ooh, I caught up with all 160 videos that they posted in the last month." You know? I'm like, "Yeah, cool." Like, I cannot do that anymore. 
there's so much stuff. I'm like, oh yeah, they made all these series and things that I just have never looked at. Whoops. <laughs> what a hater, dude. I'm such a hater. I'm, I really do be hating, bro. I be hating. Okay, I can't zoom in. That's cool. That's fine. My nose Yo, why can't running. you zoom in? Oh my god, imagine. Did I make you cry? No, I'm just so I mean. My nose is running. <laughs> I made you cry and now your nose is running. You're, you're sobbing right now. I'm making you sob. Oh, wait. These are pictures of pictures. I can't read these. Oh, wait. The other pictures. Uh, no, I think you can read a picture of a picture. You should do better. Hope that Corona yum coronavirus. Hard eye, hard mm, eye, yeah, hard eye emoji. Hard around face emoji. Hard around face emoji. Hard eye emoji. Hard around face emoji. Hard eye emoji. Okay, whose talk is... I'm guessing gray is dream, right? Probably. Sure. Oh, bet. Yum. Dinner served. Lots of emojis. Do people use as many emojis? When they're flirting, they do. Kind of cringe. Right? Like, oh my god. Yeah, so this person was like, the only reason he's face revealing is because he's like scared of me. I'm scared I'm going to do it first or something. That's um, funny. I believe it. Yeah. Well, that's not, I mean, that's like a pretty smart thing to like, if you're faking it, that's a pretty smart thing to like get people on your side to say like, oh yeah, he's only doing this face reveal because I made him scared. Because he was so incessant about not doing a face reveal and then suddenly he does one. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what drove him to do so it like, suddenly. So like, so like this is either truthful or like a really well fashioned lie using the fact that he's been, you know, so cagey about it for so long. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna jump on any bandwagon because I mean, I um, what equals like confirmed in our day and age? A few text messages come out. Yeah, like I mean. I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't care less about his life, so it doesn't impact yeah. me in any way. Oh, so, he like, was also, like, at least this girl, like, the main one, is, like, 17 when this happened. And... Oh, yeah, so it's... It's, like, kind of bordering on pedophilia. Yeah, yeah that's a gray area. How old is he, like, 19? 20? He's 20. So it's, like, a yeah, he's 20. Yeah. Gap. Yeah. That's why I'm not Dude, taking any size. I'm just bringing it up, because that is a thing that's happened. And what's really funny about it is that MatPat made a video like <laughs> a day a day or two after this was like coming out and it was like is Map is Dream my son? <laughs> no! Poorly timed video. <laughs> it was so I saw this tweet on or this meme on Twitter and it was the Walter White banging on the inside of the car window like no MatPat don't do it. <laughs> That's it's funny. So funny. So, the funny, I love, like, game theory because, like, I feel so bad for them because there are so many times I felt like, because, you know, they take, like, multiple weeks to make a single yeah. video. Uh-huh. Uh, so, they can't predict any of this stuff going on. So, they'll post something and, <laughs> like, like, oh, there's a big drama about this. That was a poorly timed video. Sorry. Remove it. <laughs> it's like, oh, no. But, like, it's like, just the things they're saying is like something they said like two weeks ago that was only yeah. now finished to release. So <laughs> they definitely don't stand by it at this point. No. Just like, oh no. No, like, Matt Pat, no. Like, yeah. you know what I think about it? I think that's why they started doing the less edited um, videos where it's just him sitting on the couch because they don't need to edit it as long so yeah. he can get his actual views out there quicker. Because those, like, big videos of, like, oh, yeah, all these slides and animations and, like, characters, like, touching and, I don't know, doing all this stuff. No. Touching? Wow, dude. Yeah, Put it touching, away. Bro. Jeez. This is a oh Christian gosh. podcast. I just remembered. I have made a, uh, I've made another Photoshop thing. This one's less funny and just kind of cool. Um, I don't have it. On my computer for it's some gone? reason? Huh? Bro. Huh? Brother deleted. Wait, wait. There we go. There we go. I found it. Okay. Like, I was, uh, like, my friend wanted me to make it look like 
uh, what was his name? Ryuk from Death Note was behind him in the chair. Wow. So so I, I made Ryuk so I made Ryuk look like he was behind him. You know, Ryuk's the, the big chair. tall guy, right, with like the white uh, skin or whatever. Uh, yeah. Cool. I don't watch. I also there. I also tried to replicate like the uh, the glitch effect if you look closely. Because I'm just that cool, bro. I'm just that guy. <laughs> I mean, it kind of... Yeah, I, mean, I mean, okay, why oh, is Raul there? Um, <laughs> is it like... Um, so, this is a really weird angle for the photo. I actually don't know... I don't know how this angle works. Uh-huh. I know where this photo was taken. But, like... I don't understand the perspective, because By the um, way, you see that little, that little handle thing on his on his leg. Yeah. So that's because this is his like closet door, closet. which is yeah. yeah it, it, and they're just mirrors. Uh -huh. Um. So I know where he's standing relative to the closet door. I don't know where Demetrius is. <laughs> he's like I. He's I honestly covering. don't know where he is. Because that's a completely different perspective than the one Raul is sitting in. Yeah. And the very right part is without a mirror. But that also has the bed. That's the other side of the bed that Raul is on the right side of. So if that's the left side of the bed, how is Raul on the right side in that? I don't understand this, this mirror this perspective. Goes, this picture goes against, goes against everything I learned in film camp. So, like, you know. I... I honestly don't understand how this was taken. Because who's taking it? <laughs> He's like, Demetrius isn't holding anything. <laughs> so just, like, yeah, I, it, I don't know who's taking this photo. I don't understand the perspectives. It's Raul's mom taking the photo. But where is she? These are mirrors. How are you taking this She's photo? A vampire. She's a vampire. Because the left and right mirrors are two separate sides of the bed. Actually, the right one isn't even a mirror. That's just next to the m mirror. So, well, I don't... Yeah. All right, anyways. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Like, like, I want to be there when this photo was taken. I wish I was there for when this photo was taken. Just, just so I could, like, understand. Because don't worry. I, I have a time machine. Like, because I don't know how... Like, I didn't know how to put Ryuk in here, so I just kind of, like, put him behind those, and I was like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, I hope you like it. It's fine. I thought it was, I, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, okay. I can tell that you're very Let neutral. me critique you a little bit. Uh, not that I would do, know how to do it any better. All right. But Ryuk, Mr. Anime Man, kind of stands out from the rest of the picture because like, it doesn't look like he's there. Because, like, the rest of the picture is kind of cloudy, but then he's, like, sharp as hell. You know, like a knife. The funny thing is, this is actually added, um... I added static to make it not do that. Here's the original. And it was, like, a little... Wait, no, that's not the... Is that really the original? Oh, I mean, yeah, that's I, the original. I, I thought it was a little sharper in the original, but... Um, this I, is the first one I did. Yeah. Um... So, I had added some of these static effects and made him have the little glitchy effect around him. Because I was hoping to, like, stop that specifically, because that was my issue. Um, You should have given Raul a stand or something. Like, I think he's left out there, standing all alone. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. Um, guess what? We like talking about big money buyouts. Guess who bought Twitter? Uh, Elon Musk. How did you know? Uh, is that actually? There's no yes. way. There's no way. Is it actually? Yes. <laughs> Do you know for how okay, much? Okay, that's funny. No idea. Forty billion dollars. Jesus Christ! And the company was worth. The season. No, no wait, wait! Don't laugh yet. The company was worth thirty billion dollars, so he lost ten billion dollars in buying it. So you know. Nah, he knows something we don't know. 
don't don't Di- don't even don't even joke about that because people will be like, yes, finally someone gets it. He he's on a different level of intelligence than us. So. Not, like there, no 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 no. He he's gotta be thinking something else is going on here because there's no way he's that stupid. Oh okay. <laughs> Like, he's not so stupid that he would spend 10 billion, 10 billion, like, no, like, I think it's, I think it's as easy as he has too much money in his pocket burning a hole and he just wants to do something with it. Wow, that, that must be, uh, that must be an interesting problem to have. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, we're millionaires, like, you know, we kind of get that, you know? Like, that is kind of wild to think. It's like, there are people who are so rich, they don't know what to do with their money. They're actually bored with it. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. All right. Good for you, bro. Good for you, I guess. Like, that's wild to me. Like, ugh. When you gotta, like, save, like, a ton of money for, like, a couple months so I can be like, ooh, now I'm allowed to buy a $30 pair of headphones without feeling bad. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, screw buying the headphones, just buy the company that makes them. <laughs> like, that's crazy. So, he bought Twitter for $40 billion, Um, and, like, he immediately fired, like, the CEO, the CFO, and then someone else. Like, Three high-ranking people, like he immediately so, just fired them. So he's um, an asshole. Yeah, because um, <laughs> they got in the way of his favorite free speech app, essentially. Um, that I think that that would be hilarious if the reason he like bought the company and got rid of them was because they like blocked one of his tweets or something. Um, probably not. That would be hilarious probably because they blocked other people in censorship. The censorship's bad. He's bringing back. Uh, he's bringing back Trump, bro. He did, yeah. Did he actually? I'm pretty sure, yeah. God, I hate it here. <laughs> yeah, he that's, like his whole. See, he wants to make it. He wants to turn it back into. He wants to turn it into like a town square, essentially, where everyone can speak their mind. That's like the whole point. See, like, yeah, free speech and everything, but there's some people who just shouldn't be allowed to speak. <laughs> And yeah, I agree. he is one of them. I saw a uh, video from O.J. Simpson, the guy who killed his wife, supposedly. And uh-huh. um, he was like, hey, Elon, can I get verified now that you're in charge? Is she still alive? Who, O.J.? O.J.? Yeah, yeah. That's how we made the video, Nick. Okay. It was like, like a deep fake. Yeah, like, I was thinking about that, I was like, did someone pretend to be the OJ, or like... No, OJ's that's, not dead. I, I really don't, like, I, I didn't think he was alive. <laughs> now he's alive. He was like, yay, Elon, good job on the buy, can I get verified now? That's Unless funny. Not that the progressive liberals aren't taking over my country, or whatever, I don't care. Oh my god, that's wild. Yeah. He's wild. It's so funny. He's like, I, hey, I, can you- I, I like that tweet, and was like, should I like this tweet? <laughs> It's really funny, but like, it's also Morally, like murderer. No, yeah, I liked it. It was funny. Oh yeah, that that is that is a funny tweet. Like what? Like come on. <laughs> Elon also is what? like comedy is now legal on Twitter dot com. Oh, like, shut up! Shut up! Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Nick. It's like shut up. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, comedy didn't exist until n- this very moment. Yeah, you know we were. I'm too censored on here. I'm not allowed to to shame um, people and yeah, like I'm like, not allowed to insult publicly, people. Yeah, I'm not allowed to publicly humiliate people and like post like terrible, terrible things about them. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do you feel about censorship? Like, is in Okay. I hate it. Not as but in like, at the same time. Not as in like, you know, a game comes out that the CEO doesn't like, so he like bans it off the platform. But like as in like your Andrew Tate mm-hmm. comes around and is like abusing women, possibly the trafficking them, you know, and just being a total me. Uh how do you feel about like banning that person? 
you know, like kicking them completely off the app. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, me too. I hate trigger warnings, though. If someone censors <laughs> another goddamn text to me because they put the, the title of a medication in there, I'm going to flip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's like, well, like, ibuprofen ain't that bad. You don't gotta put a trigger warning. <laughs> Chill. Ibuprofen. Like, if you put medic, like, okay, a lot of people are like, oh, but it's a, it's a medication, and you can, like, use that, you know, like, what if you have substance abuse, and you abused ibuprofen? Yeah. Like, shut up. <laughs> like, come on. I wish ibu motherfucking Like, come on. Yeah. If you have a substance abuse for ibuprofen, I'm sorry, but like hiding the word ibuprofen ain't gonna fix you, you bro. You're not hiding you're, my ibuprofen. <laughs> like you are kind of beyond. You're, you're you're beyond trigger warnings at that point. There's something else. Yeah, you just need like, to go to rehab. You don't need to be trigger warning words. You know. Like I. Absolutely hate when people like trigger warning and then they like make all of the words invisible <laughs> just because it's like they said the word death one time. Trigger warning, like, my grandma died. Like, it was really funny because I saw a trigger warning in um, one of the servers I'm in where it was like trigger warning, talk of death, and then um, and the, the thing they're like, wow, isn't it wild that those people died? Like, wow, wow. That's wild. <laughs> Like, you just... <laughs> so clearly like, we're not to... triggered by it. It's <laughs> the other people that are... Like, yeah. I'm so sick of it. It's, like, stupid. It's like, no one cares. Stop it. If you get triggered, that's on you. Figure I your mean, shit out. No one Don't says... get triggered. No one mm. says trigger warning for my arachnophobia and they send pictures of spiders anyway. So, you know... I feel like, a little left out. Like, bro, I, I only accept trigger warnings if it's like, oh yeah, I've gone through this deep trauma where I was in the fucking war and I have actual PTSD now, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, trigger warning, gunfire, because we know this 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 guy is here. Or, hey, trigger warning, you know, trigger I'm gonna be talking about, you know, trigger warning, I'm talking about sexual abuse to the sexual assault victim, you know, yeah. like, as you that's do, fine, obviously. right, as you do, that's fine, I can understand that, you know, yeah. but like, at the same time, you can't hide from the world, you can't hide from every mention of everything out there, you gotta find a way to deal. Yeah. Like, maybe that's a little cold, but like, fucking fudge. Yeah. It's but... like... I've been in some pretty bad fucking car crashes, but I don't give a shit when someone says car crash in front of me. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> uh, car crash. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Anyways. God. Um, <gasps> oh my god. Did I tell you I got in another car crash? No. Like, um, you never like, told me you got in a car crash. You told me you almost got well, ran over. Oh yeah, I almost get ran over all the time. Um, oh, okay. But I was in a car crash as a kid. You know, my brother lost half his face. You know, that's oh, the thing. That's nice. that's um, nice. uh, trigger warning. His are, um, <laughs> like his guys are very much obvious. I just had a concussion and uh, threw up a bunch, but that's fine. Um, he threw up a bunch. Yeah, like nice. I hit my stomach really hard and oh. I had a concussion, and uh, so like it, you know. And your brother was like, "Not inside my car." Well, half his face is bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> Like, also, yeah, like, that, like, was like, oh, no. Also, when I was in that car crash as a kid, the only thing I could think about is the fact that they were using my, my, my favorite blanket to cover his bloody face. I had to throw it away because they stained it with blood. Get out of here. I'm so mad at him for that. He's, I, he owes me. He, he still owes me a blanket. That time they used my blanket to stop the bleeding on your face? Yeah, buy me a new one. I don't care you were seized it up. Give me a new blanket! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. True colors are finally revealed. Exactly. That That's gonna be my villain arc, just because they I didn't get my blanket back. <laughs> um, but... So that was a crash I was in as a kid. Messed me up for a while. I'm still afraid of cars, and I still get really anxious about driving. But like, mm. ah, okay. Anyway, um, 
Oh, but I was in a car crash with my friend Yuri like two weeks ago. Um, because um, he had like low blood sugar and such. Um, what is wrong with my arm? Feels itchy. Uh, but <laughs> oh, that was random. Sorry. Uh, but Fair like warning, he, itchy arm. But like he ended up having like low blood sugar, so like like rammed into like a, a pole. Like like a like like a big old pole. Like there was a giant divot in the middle of the the, the car, uh, and like the thing is, the child's safety lock was on, and I was in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> so like I was out. like I was like and like he was out yelling like like screaming for everyone to like get out, and everyone was like screaming and freaking out. I'm like, hey, guys, my 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 door is locked. <laughs> Guys, I can't get like, out. My door's locked. Like, the car was filling with smoke, and I was like, hey guys, the door's locked. <laughs> and I was like, breathing it in. I was like, oh god. Like, that's. that's <laughs> hey guys, I, can't, I literally cannot get out of the car. Yeah, and like, I was like, you know, smoke was burning and all, and I was like, huh, well, that door's locked. Um, Let me like grab my stuff real quick. And like, I was like looking around for his phone. I was like, oh, he left his phone on the dash. Okay, oh, let me grab that real word. quick. Like, I was literally taking my time. It's like, oh, okay, that's missing. It's just a fire burning out like, through the dashboard. Literally, fire. by the time I got out, I couldn't see. <laughs> like, I couldn't see in the car anymore. <laughs> and, like, my lungs were burning, and I was like, that's fine. <laughs> hey, hey, Jeff, did you leave your wallet down here? <laughs> There's, like, this black yeah, was... stuff down there. Is that, is that your wallet? Oh, crap. Like, oh, okay. oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's was like, okay, well, I gotta make sure I got my phone and wallet, and, uh, oh, he left his phone on the dash, um, it must have, like, flown and hit the window, I was like, okay, let me just grab that real quick, okay, now I can, like, seek through the front and then get through their door, okay, and, like, then, like, I was having troubles with the door for a second, and so I was like, oh, like, I wonder why they closed it, honestly, like, they closed the door. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know like, why okay. they closed the door, like, they're trying to keep that it. Was kind of, that was kind of rude, honestly, it's like, bro, I'm Oh, your door's safety locked, Nick? Well, you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, and I got out, and they were like, oh man, that was crazy. <laughs> and they're like all screaming and stuff, I'm like, hey, I got your phone. <laughs> like, I can't breathe, by the way, is that normal? Yeah. My lungs hurt. Yeah, like, like, for half a second, I was like, oh, this could be really bad if I keep breathing this in, but I was like, eh, this it's okay. I don't care. I'll make it. <laughs> ah, cancer. Who cares? What are survival instincts? You say what are <laughs> survival? Oh, you're joking. I was like, you yeah. asking me what survival instincts are? <laughs> it's the yeah. fight or flight. I like to say flight, fight, flight, or freeze, because I freeze. That's what I do. Yeah, I freeze. Yeah. I just do. I accept what's going on. I'm like, okay. I guess we'll die now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I come to terms with my death and let it happen. Okay. I do a quick, I do a quick one of those Catholic like cross things on my chest and then just die. Like, I just get really calm and kind of cold, and I'm like, okay, this is fine. I feel like you're We're always chilling. cold, just body temperature wise. Well, it's like I can feel the warmth sap away from me. I'm like, oh. all right, and I'm like, yep, this is this is my fate. Like that's how I like like dealt with fear as a kid. Is I was like, there's nothing I can possibly do about the scary monsters I see in the darkness. So I'd sleep underneath the scary monsters in the darkness, and I would accept my fate. I'm like, all right, what happens happens. I can't do anything anymore. <laughs> like, I'm like, dang. Wow. Uh, and that's how I got over this fear of scary monsters in the dark at five years old. <laughs> like I remember moving into this house like before I was even in school, and I was like, oh man, I don't like the the shadow man. Uh, and so I, like, slept underneath, and I was like, okay, I'll fall asleep looking at him. Mm. I mean, it worked. I was no longer scared of the Shadow Man. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's just facing your fear, if anything. Yeah, like, like, I don't know. I was just like, in my in my kid mind's eye, I was like, mind's eye, why did I say it like that? Um, in my child brain, I was like, okay. I die, and I don't have to be scared anymore because there's nothing to be afraid of when you're already dead. Or, I don't die, and it can't kill me. Either way, I'm winning. <laughs> Either way, I'm coming out on top. Exactly. And that's how I got over my fears as a child. <laughs> that, 
See, when I have a kid, that's what I'm gonna tell him to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say, look fear in the, or look death in the face, and say, okay. <laughs> just sit uh, in front of death and start chilling. Just, just chill with death for a while. Easy, easy. I thought you were gonna say, I was gonna, I'm gonna tell Deffen, like your son's name is Deffen. Mm-hmm. Like, Dude, Deffen. <laughs> wow. Her name is Deffen. Right, yep. yeah. Don't oh, get it sorry, wrong. Sorry, sorry. Her name. I didn't realize it was a... Yeah, her name. Yeah, name. yeah. Yeah, I don't be sexist, Jacob. Because Devin sounds like... It's like a dude name, right? So I was like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't be sexist. Oh, my sexist. God. Why are you okay, so sexist, Okay, we all bro? know you're the sexist one here. So let's not... I'm the sexist one. You're right. Yeah. Trigger warning. <laughs> sexism. Trigger, trigger warning. Sexism. <laughs> yeah. Women are gross. <laughs> Sexist. Um, um, I beat Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for the second time. I haven't even beaten it for the first time. I need to get my my Switch back it's, for my cousin. It's so okay. So every it's really easy, but for mm-hmm. some reason the Elite Four is like always kicks my ass. Um, I don't know why, but something about it is always like I just I can't. It takes me forever before I can actually beat it. Which and, one? Like, who, who specifically? Um, I usually catch, I get break, like, I would stop, basically, or get stopped, like, at the Psychic Elite Four members, like, the last one, uh-huh. and, and then Cynthia, those are, like, the two that would really stop me. That makes sense. But, yeah, because the other ones, it's like, yeah, I'll breeze through those. Um, but I didn't really have a good dark uh, type easy. on my team, so it was, like... And, like, I should have kept Crunch on Torterra, and I probably would have been fine, <laughs> but I did not. I, What'd um, you have him with? So, I had to... And for my Lodic, I didn't have an electric type, because so I didn't want to use Luxray, and that's, like, my only option. Um, mm. I could have used Magnite, yeah. but whatever. There um, was a sort of lack of good Pokemon in Generation. Like, it was like in, like, Diamond and Pearl, the original, and the remake, there was a sort of lack of Pokemon. Like, yeah. it was... There's like, like no there's fire nothing types, good. no electric types. Like I, nothing that's good at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, they kind of. I mean, they, they added all those Pokemon in the underground. I don't know, that's the original, true. The, yeah. So that's those are like all the Pokemon I used my first time was like underground Pokemon. Yeah. Was, like, you couldn't do that. Any. any of these top level Pokemon. Yeah. In the original, that was not a thing. <laughs> yeah. Like the underground existed, but it was only Pokemon that were already in the game. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for like my Lodic, I had to set light screen with my Blissey, um, and then switch into my Azumarill and then like kind of just use what random. What is Azumarill? Azumarill? It's a Pokemon. Oh, Azumarill. Oh, you say it differently. Azumarill? 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 What do you I say? I say Azumarill. Azumarill? Something. Whatever. I guess it is a Meryl. And then Az- I say Azumarill because it rolls off. It sounds better than Azumarill. But, I mean... Well, I mean, you say Azumarill, and I'm like... I'm like, Zooms? No, Azumarill. Or Azumarill. Like, I was thinking it was like a... I thought it was like an electric type or like no, 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 a... No. Like a... I was thinking I like electric type or something. I, don't use electri- I didn't have electric type. I don't care what you just said, Jacob. God. But anyways... Um, so I switched in Azumarill to take, like, the Ice Beams and the Scalds. And I basically PP stalled the Milotic until it could only use Mirror Coat. That's funny. Um, and then I brought Torterra in and just Leaf Stormed, and then killed the Garchomp with an Earthquake Crit, and I was like, okay, it's done. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. I- so what, huh? so The rest of the Elite Four was like, or the rest of Cynthia's team was like, okay, yeah, switch in this, it's dead. Okay, yeah, switch in this, it's dead. And I also played on set mode to make it kind of harder. Um, and it was pretty fun, so I had a good time. That's what's up. Yeah. Were you gonna ask me a question? Uh. Good. Can't remember. Now. I didn't want you to. Why you were, like saying something before I start talking again? Really interrupted me. Yeah, I did. You know what really made me upset? What so, really made you upset? Flint and the Elite Four has a Drifblim and an Infernate. Like those are his last two Pokemon. The Drifblim. Mm-hmm doesn't have an attacking move. It knows Strength Sap, Minimize, Baton Pass, and Will-O-Wisp. So it cannot damage you, but it will sit there forever and minimize until you just cannot hit it anymore. 
<laughs> it is the and then it would baton pass into Infernape, so then you couldn't hit the Infernape, and it would uh, elemental punch all up on you and kill you. It's the, the worst experience. I hate it. I hate Flint so much. Okay. I actually think that that's the easiest thing to fight, actually. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> it got easier if I would have had a dark type. <laughs> yeah, um, that's so, really annoying. So I had my you. I had my Crobat use Haze just constantly until I basically PP stalled the Drifblim too till it could only use uh, Strength Sap, and then mm -hmm. yeah, so that was so yeah. bad. <laughs> I did some great pivoting though, because I'd like have Crobat in when Infernape came out, and then I'd switch into mm -hmm. uh, Torterra, so you'd Thunder Punch and it wouldn't do anything, and then I'd switch into Azumarill, um, and then he'd like Fire Punch or whatever his fire move is, and then I'd like take that, and then I was like, ha, and then I like Waterfall and just kill it. Nice, well, I would nice. I would U turn with Crobat so I could break the Focus Ash, but you know, whatever. U-turn is such a good move. It's such a good move. I was pivoting constantly with Crobat with U-turn. It's so good. I think that's one of the few Pokemon games where I would actually use Crobat. Mm -hmm. Like he's not, it's not bad, but he's not good. Yeah. But in that one, good this one he's solid. Yes. Yeah. I mean, See, he's pretty reason... bulky for me. Like, as long as he wasn't in front of a super effective attack, or even some of those, he was able to struggle. Sure, off. he was. Sure, bro. Sure. But Whatever also you he say. Was over leveled, so I mean, you know, that's probably <laughs> that probably helped. Yeah, just a little bit, per yeah. perhaps. You know, might might assist. Okay, dude. Listen here, buddy. Bucko. Listen, listen, bro. So. What am I listening to? Not you. Oh, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> your, 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 your stupid voice. That's what you're listening to. My voice is completely beautiful. In every way. Right. I'm a beautiful boy. My mom says so. Your mom calls you ugly. Your mom calls you a bitch behind your back. <laughs> Look at me saying saying memes. You're so mean. Me. I mean, I'm, honestly, it only I makes am sense from a sexist like you. So yeah, like Pure I'm a sexist. Warning. So I like you know I I have to uh I have to like live up to my my reputation. Oh yeah yeah, yeah of course of course. So time to go beat some women. <laughs> uh, of course yeah yeah yeah. Obvious. That's the, that's the clear direction we gotta next go. Step. Yeah. Next step. Next step. Beat women every time. No. Oh. Uh, also about Pokemon, uh, I saw this, this, like, it was a, I think a, it may have been, like, a ROM hack for Chris, for like, Pokemon mm -hmm. Crystal. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a ROM hack, I think it's just, like, based on the code or something, I don't know. It's, like, an open world Pokemon game, but it's, yeah. like, 2D, and, like, there's, like, base building, and, like, it's really weird. It's pretty cool, but weird. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And it looks... I mean, there's, like, Gen 3 Pokemon, because he had, like... There's, like, Metagross and Absols walking around. And there's a... Uh, uh, what's it called? The Fire Bug there's Type. There's a what's it called? Fire Bug Type. Um, mm. From Gen 6? Gen 4? Gen 6. He's a Fire Bug. Uh, fire Bug. I don't know his name, but you know it's what I mean. Volmoth or something? I don't know. Vol some Vol something. Yeah, Volcarona, Volcarona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. you're so smart. Oh my Thank god. You. I like Pokemon. I'm, I'm into smart people. <laughs> okay, dude. I don't swing that way. You will soon. <laughs> uh, trigger warning. Trigger warning, sexual assault. <laughs> sexual assault. Oh my god. You will soon. <laughs> Did you hear about Paul Pelosi getting beat up in his house? I don't know who that is. Paul Pelosi's Nancy Nancy Pelosi's husband. Uh, Nancy Pelosi's the Speaker of the House. Um, and oh, right yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah. He's this other person's wife. I'm like, huh? Nancy Our Pelosi's husband. the Speaker of the House. It's her husband. Okay, okay. In the House represents what? What House does she speak for? No, I'm kidding. 
the house. <laughs> the house. Yeah, the house. She doesn't have house. a cert- Well, I guess she speaks for the Pelosi House, but I mean, like, she speaks for the House of Representatives. So, so why do we why do we call it the House of Representatives? I don't know. It's better than the Building of Representatives. The like the Tower of Representatives. The echelon of representatives. The echelon. Of- That'd be pretty hard, actually. We should we should go to Congress. We should we should make Honestly. we should pass a bill. The House of Representatives yeah. will now be called the Epsilon of Representatives, <laughs> and we will like, construct bro, a new it'd building. Be, it would be so much cooler. It would. Honestly, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna become co-presidents, and we're going to take money out of the defense budget because it's like trillions of dollars. We're gonna take like five percent out of that, and then we're gonna build. Two new obelisks for us, but we're gonna make them. Actually, no, we're gonna make two big balls that are our monuments, but we're gonna uh-huh. put them right next to the Washington Monument to make it look more like a penis. Obviously, obviously. And then we're gonna build. Like two... <gasps> could be like two pyramids, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Good point. So we're gonna tear down the con- old Congress, old Capitol building. We're gonna tear that down, and we're gonna build Capitol actual... building. The Capitol building is one that has the Senate and the. Congress and the House of Representatives mm-hmm. in it, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's, it's so boring. I feel like yeah, it's boring. It. It's white cringe. We're going to tear it down. Um, we're going to hire the top 10 best modern artists to make us a building. Um, we're going to get some architects in there too. Um, but then for the House of Representatives, we're going to make a big, tall tower like the, um, like the Citadel from Half Life, like super tall through the clouds. Really mm-hmm. menacing. We're gonna, and then we're just gonna be in big bold letters, the epsilon of the House of Representatives, or the epsilon of representatives. Sorry, it's gonna be great. And then we're gonna get impeached so and fired. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's just stay anyway. And we're gonna, yeah, thing. we're gonna stay. We're gonna actually incite our our people to riot and like burn yeah. down the Capitol. They want to get rid of us. Let's just stay. I don't know why anyone would do that. Like we. Like, you know, that's such a bad thing to do. We would never, like, incite our fans to come raid the... Yeah, we would never. I mean, it's a great idea to raid the Capitol building for our benefit. uh, You should never do it. But it's a great idea. It's a great idea, though. It's a fantastic idea. Don't don't do it. Even though it's our idea, you should not do it. Don't do it. But if we tell you to do it, maybe think about it. (laughs) (laughs) Only if we tell you, though. No, only if we tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, even if we tell you, like, you know, think about it. Like, but like, we can't. We don't control you. So, like, you can do what you want. If you're a true to Gomer, though, you'll show up. So, you know. Exactly. 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 I mean, but no pressure, of course. No pressure. You know. Yeah, no pressure. Like, we're not yeah, telling yeah, yeah, yeah. you to do it. I would. I would. If you want to do it? That's up to you. You can if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, you know. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't force anyone to destroy the capital or anything. Like, exactly. But because I'm gonna need that after we overthrow the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. right. I want you guys to keep your yeah. energy up. So when we actually take the fight to them, you know, you guys are ready. You know, so. But I would never do that, of course. You know, so you know, we would ne- ne- never, never, never do think that. of it. We never um, dream of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when are we raiding the capital? Uh, I don't know. When are you free? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we gotta, you gotta take some time off. Uh, take a few days to drive sure right. there. So, or maybe a day. So true. So true. Um, anyways, don't oh raise the capital. That's not funny. Um, we don't want. Oh, be, it's very funny. We don't want to be Donald Trump. Um, Actually, I do want to be Donald Trump. Trump that's my dream. Trigger warning. <laughs> that's my. That's my dream. That, I've always wanted to be Donald Trump. Oh, I. Okay, I saw this news article. Well, I first saw, um, what did I say? I saw, it was, like, this Twitter account I follow called, like, um, The Right Does Something Funny or Can't Do Something. I don't know. Uh, they posted a meme. I don't remember what the meme was, but the caption he put was, like, can't believe this is the gov- this is the party that also had one of their representatives masturbating in front of a preschool. Um, what? And so I looked it up. So like, there's no way that's true, right? Or if it is, that's hilarious. And you know, so I looked it up, and it's like it's true. To someone, I don't remember who it was, but like a Republican Party member was outside of a 
he was outside of a preschool with like his like that you know those sun things that like you put in your windshield so that your car yeah, yeah. yeah he was in there watching porn and just whacking it in That's... view of the preschool he, he was watching porn and like a police officer came up to the, his passenger side window and like the guy didn't even see the police officer because he was so enthralled in what he was watching that's insane. It's wild. Yeah, like, what the hell? Come on. And the officer was like, yeah, he was within viewing distance of the preschool. So he could have, yeah. Either it was an inf- unfortunate place to stop and masturbate, or it was a purposeful place to stop and masturbate. Yeah, it was just unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I would never be found dead doing that. Um <clears throat> you would never be found dead masturbating. No, 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 no. But you'd be found alive doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, he looks like he would do it. If he looks like he would do it! What yeah, does I'm... that mean? <laughs> Here, fine, I'll, I'll send you it. Hold on. Oh, it's by Vice. I love Vice. Okay. Not sponsored, but I do like Vice a lot. I like their... Their, their um, documentaries are really good. That's nice. But uh, why is this person read. texting me? Oh my god. You don't need to read it, but you can look at the picture. I'm just really stressed out. Okay. Yeah, he looks like someone who'd do it. Yeah, see? I told you. Yeah. There are a lot of tools out there to manage stress. Allegedly masturbating within view of a preschool is not the best one. <laughs> as uh, as one Republican so candidate funny. in Arizona's largest county found out this month. That's hilarious. See, he was waiting for his kid to, to, to get, like, you know, get oh, home yeah, from yeah, school. Yeah. So, so he was like, so he was bored, um, and it wasn't known in November yet, so. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He was given a citation. Um, That's it? And the guy, he, the guy responded, I'm just really stressed out. I have a lot of things going on. <laughs> okay. That's his quote. To masturbating like, in fr- Oh my god, dude. I mean, like, that's not kind of not the point, my guy. <sighs> you you kind of missed the point. Like, bro. You're, you're, you're masturbating in view of children. Like, bro, come on. Like, that's something else, man. Every American citizen has the right to a fair treatment throughout the judicial system, the party said. Every, we every. Mr. Kosman's decision to suspend his campaign. Okay, so he suspended his campaign. That's good, at least, I guess. Every U.S. citizen has the right to masturbate in view of children. Wait, he was <laughs> the responding yeah. officer reported to that reported that he immediately became alarmed as I saw Kaufman had his pants down mid thigh when it exposed, showing his fully nude erect penis. Uh, God, <laughs> quickly became manip- alarmed. Okay, this is a weird way to put it: manipulating his genitals in a masper- masturbatory manner. What wow. the hell? That's so funny. Well, I don't like the way that like politicians try to word things because it's like you, you just sound like an idiot yeah in his, yeah in his conversation with kaufman or in his conversation with the police officer kaufman said didn't notice the proximity of the child care center until the officer approached sure <laughs> they all say <laughs> there i didn't see him nearby people passing on bikes and in cars what where they can see what you're doing i fucked up kaufman responded <laughs> <laughs> that's funny <laughs> That's hilarious. What the hell? Oh, it's so funny. I would just go home. Why? <laughs> just. Oh my. It's so funny, dude. Just go home. Why are you. Go oh, anywhere else. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh, man. Actually, I don't think it's that funny, Jacob. Trigger warning. <laughs> Um, I think we need to defend our right to pu- publicly masturbate. We never had the right to publicly masturbate. Which is, a, the pr- which is the sole problem in this country. I have the sole problem was that we didn't make our own butter. You're right. Okay, well, we, we have, have two, two problems two in this problems. country. <laughs> two problems. Two problems. Lack of public masturbation and yes. butter. Yes. Amen. No, not just butter. Homemade butter. Homemade butter. Homemade butter. Yeah. Homemade butter. Turn your own butter and masturbate while you're doing it. 
in the public eye. That's the end to the homemade butter. <laughs> yes, add nutrients. Yeah. yeah, get some protein in there. Exactly. God damn this. That, who's, to, who's to say that a man's milk is not better than a woman's milk? Come on, guys. I don't know how I feel about the direction I took this. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Anyways, don't go. Anyways, guys, let me just That's remind fine. you here in our final moments. Do not raid the Capitol building, guys. Okay. Oh. Unless, unless, and only think about it in this unless situation. We tell you to, okay? But we would never do that because we love, we, you know, we use our platform for good, you know, of course. Don't do it unless you can get away with it. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Okay, I actually have something more I wanted to say before we go away. Uh, no, but I just thought that this is funny. Um, <laughs> so ah! I, I was watching, um, believe it or not, Vice News, and um, what? Very, mm-hmm. yeah. And they were talking about. Um, well, I watched two documentaries. One was about white nationalism or white supremacist supremacy in the military, and how lots of or a, not lots, but a portion of like veterans become supremacist um, or like join supremacist groups and um, he talked they talked to this one governor I think governor of like Arizona Arizona? it's a red state anyways um, they're talking to him and they're like so do you think it's a problem that we have white supremacists in our military or whatever and the guy responded with like Look, I used to coach a football team, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Football dad coming out. Um, he was like, I used to coach a football team. And what I know from that time is that you need to bring the boys together and get them in a team. And the guy was like, well, shouldn't the white supremacists not be a part of that team? And he was like, look, we got to look past our differences and be a team, okay? And that's all he said. Well, that's I mean, paraphrasing, but that's basically what like, it's Like, sure, that, that, like, that's a great idea, but um, they don't want to be a part of a team if someone else is in there. <laughs> yeah. Like, There's also, you, know, you, you talk to another white supremacist, and the guy was like, I have tons of black friends. <laughs> Which, uh, that is, like, the number one way people, like, try to get away with being racist. I have tons of black friends. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Most of my friends are black. Yeah, my oh, friends are black. So what? I shot a couple of them. Like, I mean, they're still my friends, you know? Yeah, so what if I shot them in the back a couple times? <laughs> you know, that, that's how we roll. Yeah. We're just bros like that, you know? We're just those kind of guys. Just those kind of dudes, okay? So, yeah, man. That, that's how we say hello. <laughs> uh, and then the other one was about voters. It was about, like, how, kind of, like, how polarized our country is, kind of. Um, and how, like, voters, like, voter workers are being, um, you don't know what polarized means? No, I, 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 I was, I was being polarized? ironic by being polarizing with, oh, against sorry. you. Oh, sorry. I thought you were triggered, so I forgot, I forgot the trigger warning there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, be, be careful about that, bro. I was so triggered right now. I was dude. about to snap. <laughs> I was about to snap. I was about to go bananas on um, you. So, wow, well, man. So they're talking to like this, like the guy who like would run the voting, like voting in Arizona. Lots of Arizona talk today. Um, he was like he ran the ballots or the polls in Arizona or whatever, and was like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, voters are getting lots of threats, and I'm surprised." Or not voters, but like vote workers, like people that, because like people have been blamed for, especially recently, they've been blamed like ballot. I guess I should call them ballot people, I guess. Whatever. They've been blamed for, like, rigging the vote, essentially. Like, not putting in Trump's votes, obviously. Um, so, like, all these nationalists are, like, or right- yeah, they, righties are, how like... Could, how you, can they do that against our Lord and Savior? You robbed, you robbed our Lord and Savior, Trump! Or whatever. And he, yeah, the, uh, like, the guy was, like, that? I started carrying a gun, because I'm, like, I'm, <laughs> I don't feel safe anymore. Cause like you, people get calls from like these random white people yeah. being like, "I'm gonna kill you and your family" or whatever, and it's like messed up. 
So that would, yeah, that I'm blame. Yeah. And he was like, I'm surprised there hasn't been a shooting at a boating place yet. Cause like, yeah. So there probably um, has been, and just no one's really talked about it. There's gonna be. It I has think to. people would talk about it if it happened. But I, I mean, it depends I on who. It depends on who gets shot. I, <laughs> I guess. Think about it. Think uh, about it. <laughs> and then near the end, I like I couldn't finish it because the end was talking about white nationalism and Christianity. And how amazing it is. No white. Na- <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah, right. Sorry, I misremembered there. Um, yeah. No, it's about white nationalism and Christianity and how they like go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, and then there's a picture of Trump with a, I believe it's the music group, but it's like, I know there's one member, so I don't recognize the other guys, but there's one of them. It's like a member of a band called the Newsboys, which is a very popular Christian band. And I was like, I listened to them when I was not how old I am now. And, I, and then I, be, and I had to pause it, and I was like, I cannot believe I did that. Because I feel, it just makes me feel terrible. Because, like, it felt like by, um, by connection, I guess, it felt like I was supporting Trump, which I... And, like, by affiliation? By affiliation, like, thank you. Yeah, and I was just like, I can't. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, finish it because I just felt so bad. Because I was like, I cannot believe I was part of this. Cause, <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, yeah. So that was my growing moment of the day, I guess. That was your growing moment. Yeah. All right, that's the Tacom <laughs> podcast. <laughs> it got a bit of a somber note. It sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we are like in. So I think so. Yeah. We're at one ten right now. One eleven. Um, um. That's what I just said, Jacob. God. <laughs> trigger warning yelling <laughs> trigger warning, trigger warning domestic wow. abuse. <laughs> I oh, thought, okay i last i sorry i thought trigger i thought trigger died with tumblr no. not that tumblr is dead but like i thought that was kind of trigger and tumblr were kind of like interconnected so like when one went down the other one went down with it no, i just thought it kind of went out of fashion very it's very alive i guess even more so now friends. Huh? I guess I just need more friends, I said. Yeah, stop being like a loner. Jesus, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. This is the segment of the podcast where I bully you. <laughs> so you end it. <laughs> I mean, it's a good change of pace. It's usually the other way around, so. That's true. I'm going to just keep, I'm gonna just do this all the time now. I'm just going to bully you constantly. <laughs> all right. Anyways, let's just end this. I would, I would never bully you, Jacob. Um, thank you for here. watching Tagon Podcast, episode 38. So, you know, don't, no, don't say thank you to them. If they you it. haven't seen it yet, yesterday, no, two days ago, October 31st, I posted the Tagam one year anniversary video. Um, Yo. It's pretty Dang. fun. I like it. I missed the anniversary. Yeah, it was the 31st. Um, it was my. Wow, dude. That's crazy. So, I guess I could have. We could have been more celebratory this episode. Now that I think about it. Yes, <laughs> Woo! Gaming. We're gaming. Yeah. I'm celebrating. Anyways. <laughs> Did you like my celebration? Yeah, it was loud in my ears. <laughs> um. Thank you for You're watching. Gonna have to fix that. In. Gonna have to fix that later in the audio. <laughs> Probably. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, jacking off in front of preschool. It's not that. Oh, um, that's a joke. Jacking off while listening to our podcast. Whoa. Jacking off while listening to the podcast. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'm ending. I'm done. Okay, bye. Bye.